It's been a bit of a long week, y'all. <laughs> and I say that because there was just a bit of craziness that happened this week. So I did a ketamine treatment this week, mostly to see if it would help with phantom pain, even though, I mean, there's not a whole lot out there that says that it will, but um, it does help with CRPS, which is also related to nerve pain. So they were like, what the heck, we'll just try it. So yeah. And apparently I was like not tolerant to ketamine like at all because I just had these like weird dizzy spells for like two or three days. It was, it was whack. So have made that commitment to try and post something every week. So I definitely want to keep going with that. Even if I'm like, yeah, there was a little bit of a turbulent week, y'all. <laughs> I answered the angel question of should you paint your prosthetic toes? And the answer is a resounding yes! Definitely, you should paint your prosthetic toes. <laughs> right here, I will insert some pictures of my toes and my mom's toes. We made them bright green. Um, green is just one of my favorite colors, so I decided to pick out a really, really obnoxious color of green because I'm like, if people gonna stare at my prosthetic toes anyway, I might as well make them like just really bright and really obnoxious so you can just see that prosthetic from a mile away, y'all. <laughs> so my leg still does hurt quite a bit uh, after having my prosthetic on especially. Um, I would say today I did walk into the restaurant and out of the restaurant as well. Um, and then I also walked around a bit at the nature park as well. So I did a good bit of walking, I would say a good few, several minutes and I definitely could feel it now. Like I definitely have the phantom pain getting up there into the not so fun zone. <laughs> There's always that trade off to like, if I leave the house, I'm probably going to be suffering for it later and have to take it easy and have the downtime that it takes to recover from something and I guess that's what people like don't really see like right now is the time that it takes to recover from doing all those fun things that I was doing in the video last week what I needed to hear this week is that I need to be less afraid of the days when I can't wear my leg places and like I still have to go places because today I was just like I don't know what it was, but I was like so nervous to try to go to church without having my prosthetic on. And I didn't really want to deal with all the like, I don't know, questions that can come from that. I don't want to say like dumb questions, but a lot of times they can just be a lot of questions and it can be a lot to deal with when everyone's like, yo, why don't you have your leg on today? And I'll just be like, Oh, because I have days where it still hurts and it sucks. And I would just want to like not talk about it because because <laughs> I'm like, it sucks today. I don't want to talk about my leg today. I want to talk about anything but my leg today. Yeah, I have days I still can't wear my leg and I hate it and it sucks. And uh, welcome to the little old party of my life sucks today. <laughs> that I don't always like people asking me about my leg. You know, that's the whole reason that this channel exists is because I have days when it is harder to talk about my leg and when it is harder to talk about being an amputee. And I wanted to portray a realistic view of what it's really like to live my life as an amputee. So I can't paint a realistic picture without telling you guys that, yeah, like I have days where it's still emotionally hard. I have days where going to church, unfortunately, can trigger some traumatic things for me. The fact that I still try and go to church, even though sometimes I get traumatic triggers that come up, um, that's a very monumental thing for me. And Honestly, I feel like at this point that it is my faith that has helped me get through this. And that's why I talk about what I believe so much is because without the knowledge of 
true conversion that I got because I served a mission, I don't know that I would have made it through these last almost four years of pain and suffering and, you know, and it's not just the physical suffering too. The emotional suffering is something that not all amputees will talk about, but there's a lot of mental suffering that can go on. There's a lot of sometimes struggling with my self-image. Um, and I know that might seem a little weird that I say like that I struggle with my self-image now, but I do. 